Welcome back to the channel today. Stadium 974. I think I'm a little bit late to the World Cup. Seeing a little bit of gaps, bro. I, I would not be so confident sitting up there. It's currently 6 a.m. I look like an absolute weirdo. I'm the only person in this car park right now at a stadium that is no longer in use, but hey, it is what it is. Stadium 974 first. So I checked off the list. Oh, I see security coming, but wait, bro, leave me alone. I'm just I'm just a faltu tourist trying to get some content. We're gonna go and see the National Museum of Qatar. Apparently, it's only five minutes away from here. Let's go there. Guys, I'm driving on the left hand side of the road which is very new to me because in australia we sit there and drive it's actually so pretty like look at the sky i feel like even the, the oxygen here is more <laughs> fancier all right dosto i have a car parking i don't but i saw a bunch of other cars parked so i was like you know what why not a lot of people are looking at me already they block you can right like you know what i don't know what he i don't absolutely know so i can act as chaotic as i want i can let loose as much as i want see i can do stuff like that because no one here knows me and i'm in this country for another probably 10 hours or so i don't even know if i can be here right now there's a bunch of construction going lefty cone set out and here i am just on the other side of the fence but look at that, look how beautiful this is. Bro, I look like I'm part of the crew. If anyone asks, I'm the project manager here. All good, boss? All good? Make sure the windows are clean on that side, yeah? How are we, boys? Good, good. Make sure you clock on and clock off, yeah? I don't want no dodgy timesheets on my project managing watch. <laughs> Bro, I've been in this country for 35 minutes and I'm already pretending like I don't know if I'm allowed up there, but let's go anyways. You know, it's weird doing a trip by yourself. I've never ever done an overseas trip on my own. It's, I'm usually with the family or with the boys, but hey, new experiences, you know. What the heck? Where did I just walk out to? Look at that. That's the stadium, the one that I drove past. Anyways, I just worked a lot. I managed project manage the project. I'm starving. I am hungry. So I need some food in my stomach. The breakfast I got on the plane was so chat. They gave me like omelette without any salt, without any paper. And they get pepper, paper. Pepper, pepper. And the sausage I gave was like 10 days old. Now I am starving. So let's try and see what is open. I keep trying to find a place to eat, but I keep stopping because of how beautiful attractions here are. But is it even allowed to walk on the grass? The grass looks impeccable i don't know if i'm gonna get like arrested for walking on this beautiful grass i don't get to see sunrise in my city because i'll be sleeping until like 9 10 a.m and the sunrise is way too early in sydney but this this is beautiful that run back that every creator does after leaving their phone and then doing a little cinematic shot is the most embarrassing thing ever i'm getting back in the car i'm going mina district apparently there's a lot of like cafes and nice little like restaurants there so hopefully i can find something to eat there it's only a couple minutes away from me the good thing about doha is it feels like everything is literally in just one block so getting a rental car is probably the best decision i've ever made or you can make if you're coming to doha on a short period of time just rent a car drive around the city you'll get majority of things done the only thing is that if you're used to driving on the right side like me you're gonna end up copying some horns when you accidentally take the wrong roundabout exit because Bro, Anyways, let's continue, bro. I'm starving. Apparently, this is where the fish market is of Qatar. And honestly, as soon as you step outside, you can actually smell. But the view, though, it is. It's beautiful. Look at that. You know it's crazy it's a saturday early morning and you're not seeing many people out if this was sydney everyone in sydney is usually out in the morning the gore look obviously i'm desi to sote rete but like all the gore they're always out and about and if we had stuff like this in sydney then i can guarantee you each one of these restaurants cafes would be absolutely packed like in kali but i don't even know if they're open public 
Bro, this place is giving me headaches. Yeah, blue or pink or red. I don't know. It's color blind friendly. It's not at all. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Uh, I'm back on the pier. And I feel like these shops here, they're open. I see a restaurant over there that has just a Sheikh and his wife there. So I'm going to go there. Because Sheikh is good. So, food is guaranteed. Sheikh is sitting outside. But this is also guaranteed that this bank account is going to be a big hit. I get the Shakshuka with this. Shakshuka? Yeah, with the two sides beef bacon. Yeah, it's good. Mushroom and potato. Can I just get um two hash browns as well, extra? Can I just get a lactose free flat white? Flat white, all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, how many times I've been to breakfast cafes and they do not have hash browns? It does not make sense. Hash browns are the most elite breakfast dish anyone can have. Hey, I finally got my breakfast. Just finished breakfast. Galdi ho gaya yar, itna khaa ke. Ab neend aa rahi hai, bahut zor ki. But we have no hotel and we have no place to stay, so we must venture out. Let's see where we go now. these canals venice vibes lucky i actually want to do a bar at the same time i don't want to be seen by people in a boat by myself like that is embarrassing this is for couples this is for date night honeymoon honeymoon apne bivi ke saath apni girlfriend boyfriend stuck for love to haram hai lekin mun ke saath karo na ye kaam main karunga akele ajeeb sa lagega yaar i'm so confused there's a whole flipping ice arena in the middle of this place like did they try and fit everything in here look at that so very convenient if you want to be under the sky you come here if you want to go for a cruise on a canal you come here and if you want to skate on the rink you come here <laughs> covers all bases this is for my quran teacher that said i would never get fluent in arabic watch me now that says uh louis vuitton <laughs> tiffany and go photo locker shit service i told you lot a1 arabic a1 arabic i'm fluent i'm fluent what can i say yeah education city mosque i've seen a lot of videos of this mosque really excited to go check it out also it should be zohar avan in like 10 15 minutes and inshallah catch a jamaat here as well should be good बस बस इतना ही करीब और ज्यादा करीब नहीं आओ लुक है ब्यूटीफुल दिस मॉस्क इज प्रोबेबली लुक्स इवन बेटर एट नाइट और लेट्स एंटर अब मैं आया हूं कतारा और करातरा पता नहीं क्या इज समथिंग बट ये वेरी ब्यूटीफुल इट्स रियली नाइस डिफरेंट लिटिल थिंग्स गोइंग ऑन एवरीवेयर बट विद द अमाउंट ऑफ वॉकिंग एंड एक्सप्लोरिंग आई एम डूइंग I'm forgetting that I just jumped off a 14-hour flight this morning myself. Like this is unreal. The amount of like effort and energy I'm putting in, I'm actually proud of myself. You know what I'm confused about? I'm confused about all these little random tentacles that are falling off buildings. I, like is octopus Qatar is like national animal or something? Because I'm seeing bare tentacles falling off every single roof right now. Imagine MC in here doing an event on this stage with all the seats up there filled. Wow. Looks like a painting. I'm curious to see what's over there on that side. Imagine the mosque at Isha or Fajr when the lights of the city light up. I didn't actually realize that this mosque was like above ground level. Cause look at that. You can see the whole city skyline almost as if we're eye level with it. Pretty cool. Final stop of the trip was the Sukhwak. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly, but can somebody please explain to me why there's just bare falcons, bare animals on the loose and for sale? I could have literally walked out of this market with two pigeons, three falcons, and one parrot. Now, I really enjoyed my time at Qatar, but it came to an end and I had to run to the airport. I literally ran. Like if Qatar authorities are watching, bro, I was speeding on all your roads to get to the airport, but I made it, alhamdulillah. And that's been the video, guys. Obviously, I'm not in Qatar at the moment. As you can see by the background, whoa, whoa, whoa. My room is bare messy right now. I don't know what's happening. I'll get this cleaned after. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. First travel vlog that I've actually put out. I have so much travel content, but I've never actually put it out there. For example, Egypt and Dubai that you lot are still asking me for because you have such great memory and never let me live without asking, where's the Egypt vlog? Where's the Dubai vlog? Inshallah, let me know if you like this Qatar vlog and I will be putting those two vlogs out as well. Please, please subscribe. A lot of you watching are not subscribed right now. And, 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 and that hurts a lot. That hurts right here in the dill. My deal is actually this side. Comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I love it.